Hi guys, welcome back to Cryo Large Security and today in this video we're going to be learning about Evil Genex, which is a tool that is used for adversary simulation and conducting advanced phishing assessment. So uh, fundamentally uh, this tool acts as a reverse proxy. So it uh, sits in between the victim and the original sites and act as a reverse proxy. So it's also called as AITM which is adversary in the middle. So unlike a traditional phishing assessment where we give user a fake page and user tries to enter his username and password and we capture it but we fundamentally not redirect user to to the legitimate site uh, un unlike traditional phishing uh, this AITM or the phishing which is conducted via reverse proxy tools such as EvilGenX in this we actually sits in between and we fundamentally passes all the legitimate traffic to the user and to the website and then we capture the session cookies in between as well as the user credential. So uh, this EvilGenX tool is used to capture the session cookies, which helps in getting around with the 2FA. So we'll uh, see all of these techniques practically. So yeah, let's get started. So I'll just give you uh, the basic idea how, how the things work. Okay, suppose here we have uh, the victim over here. Okay. Uh, we have our we have our uh, evil genx tool which will be over here and we have the original site right over here okay suppose a user wants to log into office 365 he will send a request and the request will be sent to to the evil genx for example uh let's give it login dot this would be our fake dot com okay which will be hosted by us okay and evil genx will take care of the traffic so request will go to our evil genx evil genx will uh forward this exact request to the legitimate site which is by microsoft okay and it uh, it will forward the request and once microsoft has the request it will ask for the login detail and evil genx will forward the login detail to the user user will gonna enter its credential and supplies to the evil genx so evil genx is fundamentally uh, replacing all the traffic on the fly and sending it over to this domain which is uh, registered by attacker and uh, user will gonna see the real page how it looks like uh, for the microsoft so user will gonna enter its credential over here and evil genx will uh, capture the credential because it sits in between and it will also forward the legitimate credential to the microsoft site and microsoft will, will gonna verify it and suppose if a user is having a 2fa setup so once the verification is complete microsoft uh, website will gonna ask for 2fa code and what user will uh, what evil genx will do is to just forward this traffic again to the victim victim gonna add its uh, 2fa code and sends the sends its back okay to the evil genx now uh, once evil genx receives uh, the 2fa code it will going to send send it back to to the microsoft site and microsoft site after the 2fa has been complete will send the uh, request with the session keys okay session token fundamentally so evil genx will gonna capture it the session token and will forward the legitimate session to the victim so victim will be visiting office 365 like uh, the 365 account uh, and the real account and the site and the evil genx will have the session token over here so evil genx would be having a session token and uh, attacker can just capture the session and uh, inject it into their browser and fundamentally they will also be having the same uh, session also evil genx one has one uh, very interesting feature is to modify the post requests that are being sent out by victim so when user uh, sends the credential there is an option on certain sites you might have seen that remember me uh, section is there so we can fundamentally modify it and set it to true on the fly so that uh, the session token which would be generated for that specific session would be for for a long time so that uh, our, you know our session doesn't die and dies and we can 
conduct our advanced uh, reconnaissance from there so yeah this is how fundamentally uh, the evil gene x works and that's why we call it ai tm which is advisory in the middle so it basically sits uh, between uh, between the two uh, victim and the and the and the site so let's look at how we can do it practically all right so we, i am on my kali machine uh, so we have our evil genx tool already set up and installed uh, for setting it up and installing you can visit their github site and check out the instruction so uh, as of now i will just go to evil genx also do uh, do remember that uh, evil genx uh, the latest version has certain indicator of compromise like they have a specific header set so it's uh, usually get caught so we can modify the source code uh, and change uh, tweak some code uh, so that we can remove the IOC and can be used in real fishing assessment as well. So I'll be using Evilgen X2 as of now. And from there, if uh, we have a concept called fishlets. So if I go on fishlets and see, these are these are a few of the fishlets that are being created uh, uh, and I downloaded it. So fundamentally, fish, fishlets are basically the small uh, YAML configuration file that will be used uh, for used by Evil Gen X to determine how our uh, the fishing flow would be going uh, and how it will be forwarded. Like uh, we'll define what should be what should be fished, what should be captured, uh, where are exactly credentials being uh, there so that we can capture it, what post parameter we we need to modify. All these things are there in fishlets. So I'll just give you a quick look over that. So let me just open it in Visual Studio Code and okay so if we go on fishlets as you see i'll use a, a akira fishlets which was uh by the uh, by which was which was there in the evil gen x mastery course so i'll be utilizing that so uh, as you see we have and this is a, this is a fishlet file that will that is a demo fishlets uh fishlet file to help you understand how fishlets uh, are and how it can be used so we have an option for a proxy host and uh, as you see uh, we can give the fish a subdomain so this would be our fish subdomain this would be our original subdomain and the domain which we want to conduct fishing assessment on we have a session it's called to true and landing equals true and there are certain flags of course we can definitely look at their do uh, documentation and understand how they work uh, i'll just give you a brief overview like uh, we have a sub filter um, which is used to replace certain uh, certain data on the fly so for example it will search for login and it will replace it with the get fish for example so uh, again we have an auth token and uh, this will be the uh, token or the cookies that uh, the evil gene x uh, will capture uh, also we have a section for credential it will check for where uh, where exactly the credential are and how to capture it we can use regex intent we have the login thing which is used for actual uh, domain that we want to conduct phishing on we can specify a path also we have a force post so modify the fo uh, post request on the fly and uh, we also have a section uh, which is very interesting is js inject so we can fundamentally inject the arbitrary javascript code on the fly when serving uh, the user with the with the fake site so these are uh, these are certain configurations we can uh, have a look uh, but uh, i'll be showing you the practical example with office 365 and i do have it's a fishlets ready over here so like like the same will be uh, this would be our phishing and this would be our original uh, subdomain we have the site similarly there are certain other subdomains in the original site we'll change certain things on the fly we have the auth token the specific cookies we need to harvest credential auth url login and force post parameters so this is this is the fish list file we can create it on by uh, by our own but uh, uh, to uh, to get you more comfortable with the fish let's creation uh, try going through the evil gen x mastery course that is uh, by there by cuba so yeah uh, let's start with the, our evil gen x uh, so i will just go to my build directory over here i will go to build and i have a evil gene x over here uh, so we're gonna start with this command so p specify the directory where our all fishlets are and d uh, or the developer is specify 
it's it tells the evil gen x that we are running all the things locally so uh, some uh, in the real phishing assessment we actually deploy the evil gen x on the aws or any vps cloud and then we configure the dns accordingly but uh, for here as of now for testing and developing it all uh, locally so we'll just run it and here are our all fishlets uh, for all commands i have my obsidian nodes i'll take a look so yeah so first of all uh, first thing we need to configure is the, to configure our fake domain uh, that will be used for all phishing so uh, for now as uh, for now i'll be taking a look at config fake uh, sorry i have mistyped it uh, yes so as of now in this video i'll be using uh, fake.com as our phishing dot uh, phishing uh, domain and then we need to configure the ipv4 uh, in in the in the actual deployment we set it up to a host where the our evil gen x is running but since we are deploying it locally so we'll, i'll specify our local host ip and once this is done we can see our fishlets okay and uh, we need to configure our office 365 fishlet so we can do it fishlet host name and then uh, we can be specifying ms 365 which will uh, be our um, fishlet and um, we're going to configure it to use this fake.com which we have which will be using for our phishing assessment so this has been configured now we need to enable it uh, so that it it can be utilized by evil genx so we're gonna specify this and as you see fishlet this has been uh, been enabled uh, okay now we need to uh, set few things so gonna be specifying get host and ms365 so these are the host that will be utilized by our evil genx so we'll have to update our uh, host file accordingly so we'll open my host file over here if i go to this and there is a c uh, certain data is already there i'll just update it with the the data given by evil gen x okay just save it exit we have now we need to uh, get the lures lures are basically the urls that will be that will be dynamically generated by the evil gen x so if i do lures there are no lures as of now but we can create a lure for our ms365 and lure will be created if i again do lures as you see we have a lure so i can do lures get url and i will specify the id okay and this is our phishing url uh there there is also an a certain option or flags in evil genx that can be used to uh, tweak this url uh, and make user believe this as as it's a legitimate legitimate so uh, i will open my browser i'll be using my chromium and this will be the profile that i'll be using so as uh, at as uh, at first we need to delete any browsing data that is being there so that uh, there is no cached data that i have done earlier by by evil genx so i'll i'll just gonna paste this and as you see we have a request coming over here now uh, we have given the request to login.fake.com it goes to the evil genx evil genx forwarded it to the microsoft and then uh, it took back the uh, response and forwarded it to the fake.com so we see a legitimate microsoft login classic login page as you see here i'll be giving my legitimate correct credentials so as you see i'll just specify the real credentials over here and as you see the page is changing dynamically uh, because uh, the all the response and requests are going to legitimate site but our evil genx just sit and sits in between and acts as a reverse proxy so i'll give the right password and once we have once i click on sign in it will capture the credential over here and it will ask for 2fa code so i'll click over here 
and as you see our credentials are being captured now on the left side of the screen as you see it's asking for 2FA code so I will just go to my authenticator app and will just uh, click on it and as you see over here detected authorization token and all the tokens are being intercepted so it will redirect back to the Microsoft uh, official site again and over here we have the session token being captured so I'm just going to use uh, the sessions and just hit enter and as you see we have a session over here and it's been captured so if I do session and I'll specify the ID over here and this is what uh, we have so this would be the the cookie that will be utilizing it to log in uh, to, to the victim's account and these are the credentials that we get for the for the victim so as you see this is how uh, the evil genx works and how we can fundamentally bypass two-factor authentication using this reverse proxy concept so again uh, there are certain limitations uh, uh, while using evil genx uh, the first being is the fishless fishlet creation so it's a tedious task and requires uh, uh, time to build uh, the fishlet according to our according to our target and uh, there there are certain uh, certain other limitations for example if uh, if there is a site that uses uh, SSO login or active directory federation service then we have to you know uh, create our fishlet differently uh, also if the, if the website is using octa login then we have to take care of the course uh, course configurations as well so it takes time to build a fishlet once our fishlet is ready we can use it to conduct our phishing assessment also uh, one more thing that we can actually integrate the evil genx with the gofish uh, tool that is used for sending out mail and tracking uh, the status in uh, real time of the mail that are being sent so this is how uh, the initial uh, adversary simulation uh, workflow goes and uh, this is how we can capture the credential of the victim so yeah that is it in this video uh, if you if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up and comment and share the videos with your friends um, and we'll see you in the next video